Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you all how this new beadlock tool that I've developed works. If you've never worked with a beadlock wheel before, you have a few pieces. You have your backing face, which generally has your 12 millimeter hex in it. You have a ring that goes inside your foam, inside the tire. And you have your front face. And generally, what you do is you take your backing face, you put that inside, and then you line up your front face, put that in, and squeeze it down really tight, hold it with that one hand, go and grab your screws, try to fit one little tiny M screw, M2 screw in there, take your driver and then try to put it all together, meanwhile holding it, hoping nothing slips out of line. It's always a frustrating experience, which is why I developed the tool. So the tool has a 12 millimeter hex on it and an M4 screw. So we take instead our back face, and we slide that down over the tool, and we can put that down. We can then take our tire with the ring in it still, and we can slide that down over the back face, just the same as we would if we were holding it. We then take our front face, and we again, same as we would before, line up the holes, but instead of having to squeeze it down, we take the other half of the tool, and we thread it on to the screw. And then we just slowly tighten everything down until the two faces touch. Once everything's clamped together, you can put this down and it's not going to pop up, it's not going to slip out, nothing's going to happen, it's just going to stay clamped there. Whereas before, when you're having to hold it clamped with your hand, you couldn't put it down without having to have everything come undone on you. So the next step is then, we take a driver and one of our little M2 or sometimes two and a half mil screws, and they fit right through the handle of the tool into one of the holes. And we tighten them down. And we can put it down, grab our next screw, get that all set, and put that in. And you can see it goes right through the handle of the tool, so you have plenty of access to all of the screw holes. And these holes in the top of the tool are also large enough so that if you have any of the uh, scale hardware tools, they will fit down through these holes as well. And we can't even set this down flat on the table and work one-handed. And then once we have all of our screws put in, we simply undo the tool. Press the back part out, can set the tool aside, and the wheel's done. So a nice and easy way to do it, you can do it one-handed if you really need to. You can set the, the wheel down and not have to worry about things coming apart and screws falling everywhere. It just makes things a lot simpler.